I just get so tired of talking about the flying car, and yet, I kind of have to sometimes. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and it's funny because every time I make a video about the flying car, which is really a helicopter when you get down to it, I keep getting comments from people who want to pull up a video I did like a few years ago saying like, this is science fiction, it's fantasy, it's not going to be a reality, and they're like, well look, there's new stories about it every day, you keep hearing about it, and... I'm still like, nope, not going to happen. And I know my heart of hearts it's not going to happen. And yet there are stories today that just kind of makes me go like, boy, people are so committed to keeping the illusion that this can actually be a thing alive. I mean, it's it's just scary. So anyway, let's look at this. First of all, let's look inside the first passenger drone, which could eventually fly passengers at 150 miles per hour while burning no fossil fuels. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I actually talk about this for a living, guys. Like, this... This is what I gotta talk about. And I gotta do it with a straight face. I, uh, actually, no, I don't. I, I, I could ridicule this as much as it deserves. So anyway, here's a picture of it. Looks pretty nice. Uh, that's what it looks like from the outside. Uh, the company is calling this a North Star model that will guide future destinations that actually fly... Um, eventually, the service could cost about as much as an Uber Black Ride, except you said, and be just as posh. The aircraft can hold up to four passengers, not including pilots. Although, I wonder where you're going to get those people who's like, come on, let us squeeze in a fifth person. You know that's going to be a thing. Here's a view from the front without rotors or any propulsion force yet. And, oh geez, I don't know why this is going so far. So that's... I guess that's the side. I'm not gonna lie, it looks cool. The seats look more at home in a luxury SUV than a traditional helicopter. The interior is completely customizable for any operator depending on how they want to best serve customers. Most likely those are all Uber employees. While the cabin may be minimal in some ways, it's absolutely purpose built to the mission. The team behind the design said, adding that safety was paramount for every feature. Yeah, I, I doubt that it's gonna crash at some point and <laughs> then we'll be talking about that. There's space for luggage in addition to passengers. The butterfly door scream James Bond movies. Here's a view of the cabin, all loaded up with passengers. The theoretical cockpit is just as futuristic. Here's a closer look at the control system. Where's... Where's the steering wheel? Like, where's the steering wheel on that? So, I guess that's it. By the way, I did read a couple articles about this in advance. I mean, it's a nice design, don't get me wrong. Uh, definitely definitely there to fool investors thinking that there's something actually going to happen with this. And apparently there's no cup holders in this. There just wasn't room for cup holders. I don't know if that's actually important. I just figured I'd mention that. Well, anyway, I wasn't going to talk about this. I mean, again, as cool as this is, I know what this is. This is a promotional piece. It's like, it's a model. They're kind of showing like, see, investor, like, we've still got this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Trust us. Buy our stock. We we have this flying car thing. It's all in the bag. Everything's cool. However, there's one more company that actually seems to think this is a viable thing, and that's uh, AT&T, because they are partnering on 5G air taxis, apparently. So, it says here, AT&T will be lending a hand to get Uber's air taxi service literally off the ground by 2023. Oh, geez, it's three years away. It's always three years away. Well, okay, four years, but you know. The carrier said on Tuesday, the two companies are partnering on next-gen electric vehicle takeoff and landing vehicles, EVTOLs, I guess that's what they're called, and cargo drones using AT&T's 5G and LTE networks. They aim to launch commercial services in 2023 across Los Angeles, Dallas, Fort Worth, and a yet-to-be-announced international city, I'm going to assume. Well, maybe not, because Uber's not in China. Yeah, I don't know where they're, maybe the Philippines, I don't know. So 5G, the next-gen mobile networks, provides faster speeds. Oh, why did that? Why did that ha happen? I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. Where is it? 5G, the next-generation mobile network, provides faster speeds, more capacity, and lower latency, or the time it takes to stream or download to begin once you've requested it. AT&T initially launched 5G in December in parts of Char Charlotte and Relay, North Carolina, Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, and Waco, Texas, Jacksonville, Florida, Louisiana. Louisville, Kentucky, and Atlanta, Indianapolis, New Orleans, and Oklahoma City. 
In April, AT&T expanded its 5G networks to part of Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Jose, and San Diego, California. So here's what's going on with this, guys. I don't think AT&T is actually serious that this might be a thing. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to convince places to upgrade to 5G. Like, this is the next big thing. And how do you convince people's next big thing? Well, look at that. We're The 5G service will use this cool little feature, Uber's Flying Taxi, to get people here and there. And you want to have this, right? You don't want to be left out of this amazing experience. So what do we do? We're going to partner with Uber to show that they're serious about this. And because you want this cool thing, you will come to us and you will upgrade to 5G, even though I think most places would have eventually upgraded to 5G anyway. So that's what this is. This is AT&T trying to convince cities to let them upgrade their service and to put in new infrastructure because they're going to have this very use, useful public utility, the Uber Air or Uber Elevate. I keep forgetting. They always change it all the time. So, and you want to be part of that. That is essentially what this is. And Uber, of course, is going to partner because, hey, the fact that they're partnering with AT&T, that makes them look legitimate, might help the stock a little bit. I don't know. I I would personally like sell some of my AT&T stock. Like, I, I don't know if I trust you. If you, you're going to partner on a fantasy idea like this. Although, although, in all fairness, AT&T knows that there's not actually going to be any of these things that fly. At least none that fly cheaply. I mean, because here's the thing. Yeah, this... This whole flying car thing, this helicopter, essentially, it's existed for years. They're designing a model. I'm sure it works. Is it going to work to a profitable stage? No. Are they going to be able to get their permits to do it? Probably not. Companies, I think the state in general, or even the country in general, governments, very, very uneasy about working with Uber on anything. That's also why public transportation doesn't want to work with them. They don't trust this company. Neither do I for that matter. So anyway, there you have it. Two companies basically partnering on an idea they know won't work, but the good publicity will be too good to resist and they might work out in the long run. Now I ask all of you the question, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think this is going to actually be a thing? Do you think AT&T partnering with Uber is a legitimizing thing that says, yes, this is actually going to happen at some point? Or do you think like me, it's all smoke and mirrors? I'd love to know. So comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way. Helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting you just a little down, check out the GetUp site app below. It's totally free and you get cash back on every gas purchase. Uh, subscribe to the Entrepreneur Vlogs channel as well if you want to see more content from me. We are, we're doing more stuff, more interesting stuff, so you might enjoy it. And if you want to talk to me or other fellow rideshare people, check us out at the Entrepreneur Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.